On May 24, 1948, migrants from the Caribbean left Jamaica on the Windrush ship. They left family, friends and loved ones. Many had a return date that was pushed further and further, but for others, the return date never came. We were brought up that England was the motherland. And then they were um, inviting people to come. And all my friends were going. So it was sort of a excitement and not excitement. Excitement and not excitement. Because I'm excited to go, but I'm not too excited to leave my baby. I came to England on the 29th of October, 1959. When I left my son, he was 18 months. In those days, there wasn't um, mobile, not even landline, as is in. It is today, but I would write as often as I could. So she didn't have a daughter, she didn't have a son. She said the lift doesn't work, run up the stairs and come. And if you don't come quick, you're not gonna know that son. So I grab a bunch of clothes and that's not it. I saw my mother really when I was 12 years old and I was extremely happy to see her, you know, and know that this is my mother. It really excites me. I knew my father when I was 17 year old and it wasn't as excited as when I meet my, my mother. I was initially left with my grandmother um, and then at some point my, my biological father came and took me to live with him. I don't remember being told that my mother was uh, in the UK, um, but what, how I realised that she wasn't there was just the general talk. Um, so adults would talk about the fact that my mum was away or a parcel would come from my mum with some a doll or something and some clothing and I'd be told it would be it was from my mum so um, that's how I realized that there was someone missing and that my mother wasn't around. I left home quite young and um, when we were speaking to my sister about that, she said, and I didn't think about it, but she was really hurt because she thought that I left her. Sorry. <laughs> it's really quite strange because I never thought about how she would have felt. But... Um, she actually thought she was so excited about having a big sister and that I wasn't there for her. So as we've got older, we've got closer. I remember my grands introducing me to my mum, this is your mother, 
and this is your father and they're going to look after you then. And I remember just standing up there totally confused. Totally confused. On the 27th of December 1942, Patrona otherwise known as Shirley, was born in St. Catherine, Jamaica, to parents Zedekiah Mendez and Adassa Mendez. When I met my daughter first, she just stared at me, stared at me, and I, I, I just took her, and um, we talked for a little bit. I can't remember what the conversation was, but I, I could see that she was really timid because she don't know me as a mother, you know, and it was, it was very hard. It was hard. I think it was hard for them. But the thing is, um, the other children were so loving towards them, and they get on quite well. But it, it wasn't easy for them to, to adjust. Life was really, really tough living without them. Even when I walk past, other people with their children, I look and I imagine their age and think, oh, they would be like that age, you know. And it was it was so difficult. But the word cannot express how difficult it was. It's like you just take one day at a time, you know. And, and I always pray because I believe in prayer and I just have the faith that I'll have them one day. dynamics was strained because I believe she wouldn't have known that our parents had four more children after her. I don't know whether she would have been informed that she's got more siblings and to me that'd be a shock and actually quite sad because she then would have just had to fit it in because we were already bonded um, and we didn't really have that bond with her, so I reckon that would have been a struggle. I really think that would have been a struggle. My dad, obviously, this is his wallet, and look, the funniest thing is that Audrey Hepburn. He had a picture of Audrey Hepburn. Aww. How cute is that? I talked to my sister recently about how she felt when I first came here and she said she was really excited of having a big sister. For her, she was really looking forward to it. Um, I don't think I resented her, but I always felt that her being born here made her different. I'm really glad that my mum came to the UK, uh, despite the fact that our relationship was impacted by that decision. Um, I recognise that she did what she felt was the best thing, um, to give her children a future, a brighter future than they would have necessarily had if she stayed in Jamaica. And um, I recognise that, that she, you know, her motivation was one of love and concern. Um, and I know that I wouldn't be the person I am today if my mother hadn't made that decision to come to the UK because I doubt that I would have had the education I had. Do I understand why my dad and my mum decided to come here? I do, big time. I think it was brave. I salute them. I think that they had a vision. <laughs> 